We're stretching the canvas today. All right, we're back in the studio. Um, this guy here, still not done. Uh, I've got the one day session in there. Um, gonna work on that some more. But first, but first today, we are going to stretch a canvas. I'm using one of these, um, these uh, Fredericks, Fredericks um, canvas kits. Um, that Fredericks Pro Dixie Canvas Kit. It comes with all the um, stretcher bars, the canvas, the, the levers, the, the corners to help keep things square. It comes with all that stuff to make this uh, a pretty easy project, hopefully, to, to put this together. Again, this is the first time I'm using this Fredericks brand. I've stretched my own canvases before, just buying my own parts. Um, but this one's interesting in that it comes with one bar already uh, connected. And the idea behind that is that that's gonna save some time and some stress when putting it all together. Let's hope that works. Again, this is the, the Fredericks Pro Dixie Canvas Kit. And I'll let you know what I think when I'm done. Um, so I've been stretching this canvas here for the last little bit, working on this 
new Fredericks Pro Deluxe Kit. Um, you can see here, we've got it stretched. Um, but we've still got a little bit more to do. We've got to, we've got to take care of the corners still. Um, see that? Each of the corners have to be tucked and folded nicely. Um, but the hard part, getting an even stretch, getting it tight, um, getting, make sure there's no wrinkles or warps. We're done with that. Um, I would say my first impression on this Fredericks kit is positive. Um, I've stretched other canvases, uh, small ones, big ones, and they've never come together quite as easily or as fast as this. This thing's got a neat little, little trick to it. Let me pull this up here. Um, if you see this, see this guy right here. A simple little, little thin board, right? That board, you wrap the canvas around it. You take this little clamp thing here. Let me show you that. See this? It's just a piece of wood with a notch cut in it like that. You wrap the canvas around this thing. Then you clamp it down with this. And that then is your lever. It holds the canvas tight while you twist it down and then it reveals the staple spot right here. See my finger there? It reveals the staple thing. So that takes the hardest part of stretching the canvas out of the equation, which is doing even, even pulls, um, even stretches. You can see that this one is for the four foot side. There's also one for the six foot side. Um, so they make it really easy. It's attached to one side to start with. You put this bar, turn the lever down, staple it like crazy. Um, and then do the same thing on each of the short sides. And then, uh, then you've got a stretch canvas. I did have to rework one little section, one corner here. Um, there was a little bit of a ripple. And what I realized is that a couple of my staples on the back side here um, didn't, didn't, penetrate the, didn't penetrate well, so they were a little loose, which allowed for that stretched canvas to not stretch, uh, producing a wrinkle. We solved that though. Um, we're moving on now. We'll knock out these corners and we'll start painting. All right, so here it is. Four foot by six foot. This is a beast. It looks normal size, but when you stand next to it, you can see it's a big painting. Um, I'm gonna start on this now. Okay, finishing up the, um, the first layer of acrylic glazes today. I've got them now done. Um, I had to leave to go pick up my daughter. I'm here in line in the school parking lot right now. Um, so that's it for today. Next up tonight, I'm going to the um, figure drawing session, doing some life drawing, three hour long pose. And then after that, it's, um, it's tuck the kids into bed and, and the, um, the day is over. Uh, more more tomorrow and remember if you like my videos please click the like button share it with your friends uh, subscribe um, yeah basically that's it thanks